they pretend to be like us? How dare they? Sure, they look like us. They come in the same packaging, they have the same shape and the same color. But let me tell you something. They are nothing like us. People may call them by different names. No matter what name you call them, what you need to remember is that fake medicines are nothing more than a crime against patients. Patients that we, genuine medicine, vowed to protect or cure. Patients that rely on us. They are deceitful, illegal, and dangerous. They trick patients into believing they are getting real medicine, but instead, they increase resistance to the real treatments and may cause further illness, disability, or even death. These imposters pretend to be all kinds of medicines, brand name and generics. They are everywhere, on all continents. They are sold on the streets, through websites, and even in pharmacies to both rich and poor. Everybody is at risk. Fake medicines must be stopped, and people must know about them. We, genuine medicines, are the results of years of research and are subjected to rigorous clinical studies before we are approved. Whether originals or generics, we have to go through numerous quality tests during manufacturing to ensure we are safe. And counterfeits? Counterfeits are made with no supervision or quality control. In many cases, they have been made in garages, warehouses, or shacks. Genuine pills contain the active ingredients that make them work and the right dose of a series of molecules specifically designed to be effective and safe. Fakes may have no active ingredient or the wrong one, the wrong dose, or even worse, dangerous substances like rat poison, antifreeze, or boric acid. It's possible to know where we, genuine medicines, come from. No one knows where they, fake medicines, come from where they have been manufactured, stored, and how they have been delivered. Make no mistake about it, the people running the counterfeit medicine trade are criminals. This is a multi-billion dollar business. Sure, buying illegal pills seems attractive. You don't need a prescription, or in some cases, you don't have to go through the embarrassment of asking for one. You think they are cheaper, and that it's easier to buy them online or from a local street vendor. But think about it. When you buy on the internet, you've got one chance out of two to get a fake product. This is why it's important to get your medicines from legitimate and licensed sources. We, genuine medicines, are designed to save or improve lives, and we contribute to a healthier society. They, fake medicines, are a crime against patients and public health that undermines trust in the health system. But we can do something about it. Together, we can let people know about the dangers of fake medicines. Share this video. Tell your family and friends about the danger of counterfeit medicines. Inform your patients and report any suspicious case. Work with us to raise awareness with governments everywhere and take actions to combat this global problem.